Hey everybody, welcome to Backwoods University. Today's class is going to be on bags and packs. I'm going to start out by uh, talking a little bit about bags. Now you might call it a possibles bag or you might call it a haversack or whatever. Um, a hunting bag, whatever. Uh, its purpose is very simple and that's to carry stuff. And uh, this is an example of, uh, I guess you'd call it a possibles bag, a bag that I use quite often. Um, and uh, it measures probably about, uh, I don't know, 13 by 13, something like that, a little over a foot square. It's got a uh, button down flap on it. And uh, I keep uh, a lot of the gear that I would use on whether it's a day trip or an overnight camp. Got a, got a woven uh, shoulder strap, a little leather here uh, on the flap, and it's made out of waxed canvas. That's one example. Uh, here's another example. Uh, this bag I'm quite, quite proud of. Uh, this is a, a deer skin bag. Uh, I harvested the deer myself and I uh, tanned uh, the hide uh, myself and I sewed it myself, which uh, um, I'm really proud of this little bag. Uh, it's just a single pouch, uh, uh, got a uh, woven strap on it, got a deer antler for a button on the flap. Here's an example of a, a, a waxed uh, material. Got a couple straps to, to, to hold the flap down. This one here actually has some internal pockets where you could separate your gear. And then an adjustable strap. And we get into some smaller bags. Uh, these are probably more appropriate for uh, uh, carrying your, your hunting uh, supplies for, for just a, a hunt. Um, and this one here is made out of brain tanned uh, uh, deer hide. Small bag, it's just got just enough to, uh, to put your uh, shooting uh, supplies in uh, um, for your hunt. There's a smaller version of, uh, of that bag. Uh, Again, leather. Uh, this bag, I don't have a button on it so that I can reach into it and grab uh, uh, possibly uh, a round ball or some more powder, whatever, um, quite easily. And uh, lastly, here's another example of a uh, much larger shooting bag. Um, this one, uh, I wanted a muzzle loading. Uh, Rendezvous, um, and this is a quite a nice bag. It's made out of very heavy leather. It's got the flap on it. It's got uh, some internal pockets. Uh, now this uh, bag uh, you might want to carry uh, if you were going on a little longer of a, a hunt or a trek. Uh, uh, normally I like to just carry on a day hunt just what I would need in that bag for the hunt. Um, Makes it much easier. You want to arrange it so that that um, when you're hunting, you can just reach in that bag, and you know where everything is because you may only have just a a little bit of time to retrieve whatever item you might need. So there's some examples of some some uh, possibles bags and some. Uh, uh, shooting bags or whatever you want to call them. There's other methods to uh, uh, carry things other than in, with a bag. Um, you could use a pack basket like this. Got a couple straps, put it on your, your back if you got to carry a large load. Um, if you're carrying a, a blanket in, uh, you can use what they call a tump line.
here's a kind of a specialty little pouch. This is called a food quiver. And uh, you might just put a little bit of uh, your food in for the day. This end uh, would tie shut, and then you could wear this around your waist. It's called a food quiver. This is a, a little bag here to carry a flint and steel kit. It's got squirrel hide on one side, uh, brain tan deer on the other, and uh, your uh, flint and steel kit fits in there or any little uh, uh, item that you might want to carry and you can wear it around your neck. Uh, some might refer to this as a medicine pouch. Um, this one here I made myself. I'm kind of proud of it. I got a couple of turkey spurs on there for decoration. Another method of carrying some items uh, would be a, a belt pouch. This would fit on your belt or your sash. Uh, again, this one happens to be made out of uh, a deer hide. It's got an antler toggle to hold the lid shut. Um, just another option. Here's another version of uh, a belt bag. This one happens to have uh, raccoon and uh, deer hide. And for a toggle, it's just got a little, uh, a little uh, sapling there and I cut a little stick. So that's a, uh, an option. Here's kind of a unique little bag. This is a, uh, a case skin squirrel. It's all been tanned and up through <laughs> through the mouth of the, the squirrel you could drop in there say something like round ball or whatever tie it shut and then that uh, you could uh, either attach to your belt or uh, wherever kind of a kind of a novelty pouch here's another method of uh, carrying uh, odd items. It's a pack frame. Um, got all these different loops on here. You can uh, uh, tie whatever object to this that you want to transport and this would be worn on your back also. If you've got uh, uh, a bigger load than uh, say your, your uh, bag could carry or you just don't like a shoulder bag this here is a, a small knapsack same principle as the other bags only it has two shoulder straps on it most of these items can be uh, can be made fairly easy uh, whether it's out of uh, cloth or uh, deer skin or fur whatever but uh, if you don't want to do that there's modern options, uh, um, similar, <laughs> similar uh, idea, only made of modern materials like this uh, small backpack here um, that, that you can use. on different methods uh, to carry your gear. In another class we'll go into uh, what is carried uh, um, or what I carry. 
uh, you'll have to make your own uh, um, decisions on what you're going to use, but uh, we can do that in another class. So uh, until next time, thanks everybody for stopping by.